I recently attended WordCamp Utah, and one of the presenters was talking about themes. And he said, you know, when you're looking for a theme, don't just look at the bells and whistles and how it looks. You have to look at how it is on the back end. How does it load? How, how is it search engine optimized and so forth? And so uh, one of the tips for finding how fast your site loads is to go to this site called webpagetest.org. Paste in the URL um, to your site. Oops, I don't, I don't need that there. And then click start test. Now this is going to take a little while, but what it's gonna do is actually uh, show me a workflow of everything that's loading in the site and it will be arranged in kind of a waterfall. Yeah, I didn't mean to say workflow. It will be arranged in a waterfall hierarchical visual uh, display. So while that's running, it'll take maybe a minute. Um, I'm gonna go back to the site and explain something. If you just show the excerpt on the home page, your site is actually going to load quite a bit faster than if you have a bunch of images or if you have a featured slideshow component. Uh, another thing that Im influences your loading speed is the number of plugins you have. If you strip down your plugins to just the bare minimum, it will load a lot faster. So let's go back here. All right, it's finished doing its load test. You can see that it took about five and a half seconds. And this shows the loading time of everything. Uh, if it's, basically, if there's a big long blue chunk, it's kind of taking a long time to download something. Uh, this jQuery component is actually part of the WordPress install, so I can't really do a whole lot with that. But some of these here, this DocuTools, uh, this Madcap, these are some of the ads I have here. So I should probably go and try to optimize them so that they're not as heavy uh, of files. Now, let's go in and do a comparison. Um, a lot of times, if you look at a, at a theme and, and you're trying to figure out you know, what theme to get and you see one with a slideshow, and you say, oh, that looks awesome. Uh, and, and it may look good on your site and this is one that I'm going to show you that has a slideshow. Actually, I had it on my site for quite a while. And you can see that um, it's got a big long slideshow here. Actually, I had content in the sidebar that just kind of disappeared. And all my content just disappeared. That's really interesting. Um, yeah. Well, basically, I'm not sure why all my content disappeared. I think it's because, oh yeah, my widgets. It didn't save my widget settings as I jumped back and forth. Um, so let me, just for the sake of argument, I'm gonna populate some widgets here. I'm gonna pause the video. I'll come back after I got some content on the home page. All right, I loaded back up my widgets. So here you can see that I've got a slideshow. I've got some notes on the right. I've got a couple of columns, lots of posts and so forth. So now let's see how this same theme does with the web page test load. So again, I'll copy my URL here, go to web page test and web page test.org, paste in my URL and kick this off. Now, while this is running, I'm going to pause the video again. So there's not a big long silence, right? It finished loading. And here let's take a look at the time. Holy smokes, 16 and a half seconds. And what is it that is taking so long? Well, this theme has tons of jQuery type JavaScript files that are loading. It has all kinds of thumbs. The, these are the resized images that belong to this slideshow component. All this is taking a lot, a lot of time to load. And f from a search engine's point of view, and from Google's point of view, my site is gonna be penalized because it's taking so long to load. It makes sense for Google to actually reward sites that load quickly because then they can show more ads to more users and make more money. So really, although this featured slider looks cool and maybe is kind of a bell and a whistle on a site, uh, is it worth an extra 11, 10, 11 seconds to load the site? Uh, and you think you get 700, hits a day, a thousand hits a day. It's a lot of lost time from Google's perspective and your page rank and your, your SEO is just gonna tank if that's the case. So I've actually reduced uh, my site and reverted back to the more simple theme.